Hey, it's Corey. And Victoria. From Trains in the Valley. In case you don't know us yet, this is who we are. We're shop owners that love model trains. We help fellow hobbyists get the supplies they need so they can take their model railroad to the next level. And today, we got an awesome collection for sale. That's right, so let's jump into it. Okay guys, we got some intermodal containers. Let's start with some 40 foot ones. So this one, actually let me get a close up as best I can, is American Presidential Lines or APL. Then we got a YM line and these two are Athern. As you can see, they're still packaged. Then we got a Gen Star, which this is Walters. And then this is also Gen Star, but if you look really close right there, it's a K line, which is pretty cool. And then we got Seco. I guess that's how you say that. I believe so. That's a nice looking container. I like mm -hmm. that. So here we got. Sorry for the glare. It's Trans America. And here we got a capital. I love that green color, Corey. Yeah, that's nice. I like green. Mm -hmm. This one is probably my favorite one. It is a K line. Kind of old school one, but I love it. And it's an Athern. Okay, next we got some 20 foot intermodals. So here is ACL. Clipper. I like the big letters on that one. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to say Danzas. Yeah, I believe that's definitely from another country. <laughs> yeah, it sure. says Italia or whatever that is. There. I'm pretty sure this is Italian. Yeah. Yep, that's that. This one's European, I believe. European Container Services. This one kind of reminds me of Triton, but it's Typhook. I'm going to assume that that's how you pronounce that. Gateway, which if you look really close, you'll see it there. I'm going to guess I tell. Yeah, that's what I said last time, I think. But you can correct us if we're wrong, but there's a view of it. And let's see, we got two APLs. They're different though. One says the actual American presidential lines, and then one just says APL. Here we got a Triton, and it's still packaged. Yeah, I like Triton. I love Triton. We got three of the same one here, but they're somewhere packaged. Here's Flexi Van, and then two that are packaged, but I will show you close up. I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same. Maybe the colors are a little different, actually. I think the, you can see this one's a little bit more of a different kind of brown than them two, if you look really yeah. close. Or they're just out of the pack. You know how plastic is. I'm gonna just say they're different. <laughs> they look, I mean, really look at that. You yeah. can tell. <laughs> Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six Matson service services the Pacific. So we got one packaged, and then we got a weathered one, and then we got two ones white, one silver. We got another one here that is weathered, and another one here. I believe it's just white. I don't believe that one is weathered at all. Nope, they took care of that one. <laughs> yeah. And then we got something I never heard of before. Showa. It says Japan on there. Yep, they're cool. I, I like them. Mm-hmm. Got one of the, we got actually four of them. This one's weathered. Another one. And Another weathered one, which is pretty cool. That one looks pretty, uh, like I like the style of the weather weatherization. On that one. <laughs> yeah, they did a nice job. 
All right, so I believe that's all for our containers. Yep. All right, next we got some trailers. Here's a 53-foot Heartland Express. This is new. And then we got some 40-foot ones. Vermont Railway. I really like that one. This one's probably my favorite. Hard not to keep it. <laughs> Norfolk and Western. And it looks, you know, like, not weathered per se, but it looks, you know, awesome looking. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit maybe. I'm not sure. It's not a hardcore, but... Yeah. It did something. So here we got an Erie. This one I know Corey wanted, but it's a little old school for him. Yeah. I like Western Maryland, but... Western Maryland. And this, I think, is weathered. It yeah. looks a little... Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to model 2020, basically, so <laughs> this stuff doesn't... You don't see this anymore. Got a Union Pacific... I like that one too. We got Seaboard and it has Razorback Raring to Go by Seaboard. This one is definitely, if it will focus, yeah. this one's definitely uh, weathered. Yeah, we got some rust there. <laughs> and then we just got a regular uh, Seaboard here without the Razorback on it. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. Okay. We got two Santa Fe's. Now we got a Northern Pacific. I love that logo. <laughs> I love this one. And then we got another Northern Pacific, but it looks a little custom. It has Kent on it. Guaranteed. What's that say? Feeds. feeds. Yeah, Kent, Kent feeds. feeds. And the top is interesting. Yeah, it seems like they almost, like, were going for, like, a tarp kind of look. I don't know if tarp's the right word, but you probably know what I mean. It's almost like a um, cardboardy feel to it. So yes. that was definitely customized. Yeah, like a covering. And then we got two new Havens. I like that one. And then I believe this one looks a little weathered. I love that. Then this one is patched, but it definitely was an L and N. You can tell there and there, obviously. <laughs> we got Mason Dixon. Rock Island Lines. I like that one. Mm-hmm. And New York Central System. I think that one is weathered also. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we got. Next, we got Pi. <laughs> Pacific <laughs> Inner Mountain Express. Time DC. Hmm. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Yeah. We got a bigger clipper. We saw a smaller one earlier. Clipper Express with two axes. Nice. They're extreme. <laughs> Republic also weathered and I believe the clipper down there is also weathered. Oh, I don't know why you're not focusing. Mustn't be anything to focus on apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Maybe this side. Oh, you can see right in there. I didn't even realize that. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you can load stuff in there if you want. Yeah, that's probably what they were going for. Oh, wow. My eyes are horrible. I can't even read what that says. Can you see what that says, Corey? Uh... <laughs> PWRZ. I think it's PW. I think that's why it is. It says Providence and War Chester, I believe. Alright, yeah, that's definitely a new one for us. <laughs> okay. I haven't heard of some of these ones. Transcon. And I think that's refrigeration, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, you got it. 
Here's one that's packaged. Southern Railway Containerized Freight. And then we got two piggybacks. Santa Fe. And another Santa Fe. I hope we got some Boston and Maine fans here. There's the logo. Because we got a lot of them. <laughs> another one. I believe this one's a little weathered, but like just a little. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I think that's a more modern one, most likely. More, more, and more. <laughs> Boston and Maine. So if you like Boston and Maine, hop on these because they're in pretty good condition. I like that logo on the end. Yeah. It should be on this side, though, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. And we got a Northwestern Falcon Service. And that is also a little weathered, especially on that side. I hope we got some Western Pacific fans out there. Got a couple of these, too, with, I believe, refrigeration. Mm hmm And another kind. Refrigeration. Another kind. Not refrigerated. And then this is a double pack of kits, which I believe is the same. It's close to this one. It's it's not quite the same, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a kit. A double kit. All right. I hope we got some Pennsylvania fans. I'm sure we do. We got like seven or something of this. Okay. This one is sealed. Most of them are. The next one I'll show you is not. So then you can have a better look at it. Pennsylvania Railroad. I don't know why I said it that way, but <laughs> P-R-R. I believe that says. So there's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's a ninth one here. So, hit us up if you like Pennsylvania. <laughs> Only one is opened, and this one is also the Wallers. They're all Wallers. Yeah, and it looks in good shape. It's a beautiful condition. All of them are. We got more Pennsylvania, but it's a different look. Also a trailer. We got four of these. They all look exactly the same. So, you, you we, I know we got Pennsylvania fans here, so they're pretty nice. Yeah, I, I like them. They're pretty cool. Yep. Furs. Okay, we got some trailers. They're actually kits. Most of them have two. So this one is Motor Freight Lines Cooper. Yep, and these are Walders also. We got Erie. Actually says piggyback service on there. That's cute. Another <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's. And some of these are sealed, like this one. New York Central System. And here's just a single New York Central. I think... Let's see. It's mostly together. It's actually missing something. Yeah, it's inside. So. It's inside? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's in there. <laughs> And then these last ones are all sealed. We got Clipper again. Clipper Express with the two X's. We actually have two packs of this one. It's uh, Vermont Railway. We got two of them. And we got Seaboard the Razorback. Raring to go. Now we got some flat cars. So here we got... Erie 
And what was special about this one, Corey? Yeah, well, you could see this one was a kit, so um, you have to be a little careful with it. it. It was coming apart, but everything seems good there. It just needs the couplers. just needs a little work, and it'll be fine. Yeah, they did weather it, too. That's worth That's noting. That's really cool. It does look really nice. Then we got a TTX... And this is also weathered, I believe. We got... Uh, early TTX. Yeah, trailer train. I really like the old TT look. And this looks like it's a little longer than those other ones. Yeah. Yeah, if you compare. Yeah, I think that's 89 foot, I believe, just eyeing it. We got another one of them. Yeah, they did a nice job doing some customization to it. And it looks like another one. This one looks not weathered. It looks a little bit more new-ish. Yeah. The only thing I noticed on that one is if you want to show on this end, we got this guy that I need to get glued in. But okay. it's all there, from what I can see. It's in really good condition. And then this one I really like. We got a Union Pacific. Let's focus. There we go. It is slightly weathered. And beautiful. Yep, I, I just want to point out that the, these ones, they are missing like the little top to that as you can see but if you have a trailer on it you really won't see that anyway so just to keep that in consideration and we got two that are exactly the same that we can tell it says PFF and it's weathered on top yeah these were in nice shape I, I really thought they were some of the best All right, so we got those guys. And here we got four uh, flat car kits. They're all like in plastic inside, so I don't want to take them out, but here's all the info on the side. They're Walther's, so you should be able to go on the Walther's website and check out what they look like. All right, so we have a kit from Walther's here. It's a GCS flat car, and this one is Burlington. Ooh, I like that. I like the red. Yeah, that is nice. And also, same thing, we have one that's Pennsylvania. We have a lot of Pennsylvania stuff today. I mean, if you're a Pennsylvania fan, you could pretty much just get a whole layout going here. Yeah, that is <laughs> always good. We have another PRR flat here. And it's put together, not yep. a kit. Yep, these are assembled. There's another one. Pennsylvania fans, here you go. Yep. We also got some of these for the 20 foot uh, containers. Another Pennsylvania. <laughs> And another Pennsylvania as well, but this one comes with uh, the ball cad ends to them. So, That's cool. Yeah, that is neat. Okay, and here's some Western Pacifics. So here I notice that it says A on it, and we have its buddy here, the B. Awesome. A lot of Western Pacific stuff too today. Yeah, definitely. Now here's a really cool car. Here's for trailers as well, but it's Rock Island. Ooh. That's pretty neat, like with the, I guess you call that railing around it. I, I've never seen that car before. That's pretty cool. All right, these are some nice cars here. We got a Lackawanna. You can tell, like, they're really good and solid. Yeah, that is a nice car. And another Lackawanna, actually. Oh, and yet another one. L and W on the side there where I was covering it up. 
and then get another one. It's also worthy noting they were all different numbers. Ooh, that's that's epic right there. That's what you need. All right, and here's a DL and W as well, like a Tuscan color. Okay, we got the last of the flat cars. So we got these, I would say new condition. Um, this is ATSF. Let me take it out and show you a little bit closer. Shot control. Like, extremely detailed, I'd say. It looks really good condition. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to look up the brand, but yes, these are definitely new, never ran before. They're just, um, they're just missing the actual box, but... Here we got the Burlington Northern version. Yeah, that's a nice, nice sharp car there. I love the black wheel there. Oh yeah, that is cool. Yeah, that that works good. Oh, and if you can show the top quick, um, you can actually see where you could put your stakes in them. Yeah. So that's handy if you're doing some custom loads there. And then this one's probably my favorite. CP rail. I'll give you a close up of this one. I don't know why it wants to go out of focus, but we'll hold it back a little bit further. That's the bottom. I love it. It's really sharp. These all three of these are really sharp cars. They are very nice. Yeah, they're definitely modern. And they're new. They're just not how they don't have the the outer box. You're right. All right, now we're going to move into some buildings and structures. We got some Plasticville here. Um, even though it looks like uh, they're a little beat up, these are all new. The plastic is still inside, so they are all good to go. First of all, we got some railroad work sheds. We have a barn. These two are barns, actually. We got a water tank, a pedestrian bridge, the gas station, the burger stand. Here's a burger stand also, actually. The house under construction. I always thought that one was cool. We got the motel with pool. Ranch house. Is that another? Yep, that's another water, yep, tank. water tank. And a hardware store. A suburban station. Yep. And railroad work sheds. And it mentions there's two oh, per box. Yep, that's actually the same as this one. Okay. But very cool. And to mention, you know, the burger stand one, um, this, the picture kind of got ripped off but if you want to see what it looks like you can just you know go on Bachman's website yeah these are all pretty well they're newer ones it's just that just the box just went through some stuff but yeah so they they're all good to go and we can offer these a little less than our normal uh, plasticville which is definitely great for you guys we got more buildings here guys so these are lifelike and we got three police stations. We got a modular stock pen, Western Homestead, firehouse, another firehouse, four national oil companies, and the Belvedere Hotel. These are all the same as the lifelike was. The plastic is off, but inside all the pieces are in the plastic bags yet. So they are new. And the last of the lifelike kits, we got Trek side shanties, a town church, and the big seller here, just kidding, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And here, if you want to close up that one. Yeah, that one's cool. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's highly sought after, so I was happy to see that. All right, next up we got some brand new buildings from Walther's. Th these are mostly from the Cornerstone series as far as I could see. We have an LCL container terminal. There you can see kind of how it operates. You have the gondola here and it's all hooked up to the crane and everything. Or the crane is taking it off onto the truck there. That, that's pretty cool. So if you're looking, if, if that would fit your scene, that's a nice looking building right there. Or structure, I should say. All right, we have a Front Street Warehouse here. That's pretty cool. That That's definitely nice. No matter what era you do, you're doing there, you could weather it to make it look 
uh, beat up and everything. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It looks kind of old school, but I like it. Yeah, that's I mean, cool. It has old cars there. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, I've seen this one online. This is pretty cool, Medusa Cement Company. So if that would fit your era, your lay—I shouldn't say era, but if that would fit your layout, that would be pretty cool. There, you can see um, you would have a siding like that, and it loads in. That, that's really nice. That's a nice scene that they. I like how Walters actually shows their um, the things right on a good layout, and you can really see. You can imagine what it would do. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, we have an interstate fuel and oil here. I think that's pretty explanatory there, the the scene. So if you're into fuel and oil, there you go. And here we have reliable warehouse and storage. As you can see, this one's not sealed, but everything's good inside. It's still sealed up. I like the chassis there. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that right away, too pretty cool. So I just got in another Red Wing Milling Company. Like I said in the other video, I like the EDM. AM there. I like so, that too. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I like the detail on that. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, we were just talking a little bit off camera here about, but like the Walder series, it's definitely for people that are serious. Like, I like it. Like, for good industry and things like that, mm -hmm. it's definitely gets you on the right track. Here we have an Art Deco Highway Underpass. That's definitely good if you're looking to get some height into your layout. That's really neat. I like how that... Um, I don't know. I, I just like the vibe of that. That's really cool. Alright, we got another Cornerstone Series kit. Hardwood Furniture Company. It's pretty cool. I like the... like. Is that a tank up there? Water tank maybe? Water whatever you call that thing? What would you say, Corey? Uh, yeah, it looks like they got their own kind of water tower. Yeah. yeah. And maybe that's in the background. I'm not even sure what... Um, you know, that, that that's really interesting. I, I'm just admiring, like, this is a huge building for, like, a furniture company like that. And here it has some details, too. I should have probably mentioned that. It says that it has covered f freight car loading dock, as you can see right there. Loading in there and a lot of different things. So... And it says it fits steam or diesel era, so that and, pretty much... I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm just saying that pretty much covers everybody there. And it mentions it has some decal signs, so mm -hmm. that's cool too. All right, we got more Walders Cornerstone. Firstly, we got the Thompson Bros paint. Looks like a cute little corner store, which is pretty adorable, honestly. And then we got oil loading platform, which, I mean... If you're going to have an oil company, I guess you're going to need the platform for it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And on the top here, we got interlocking tower. And we have a stockyard. So two different uh, unique uh, structures there for you. And this one also mentions it fits the steam or diesel eras. That's pretty cool. I like that. And we were talking, I, I don't believe it includes the... The figures but figure part pa paint not included figures vehicles railroad equipment and other accessories sold separately there you go so that's official we got the golden valley freight house kit it looks like a freight house yep. that is uh, pretty self-explanatory there yeah this one's really cool northern light and power substation that, that really adds some nice detail to your layout there. And finally, we have the Champion Packing Company. They must pack things there. Yeah, we got... Oh, there's meat! Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, let's, let's get this really in detail here, what they mean by packing. You see those, like, I believe they're cows... Yeah, it's pretty intense. I don't think that's included in the kit, but... <laughs> no, that's cool, though. Um, yeah... All right, yeah, I was looking at it, too, like, what what do they do? But, yep, there you go, so, and, again, it says steam or diesel era. Um, Easy to build. We should have said that this whole time, probably. Yeah, yeah, they do mention that, so that's always nice, you know. Nobody wants to take weeks to build a, a kit, you know, so. Unless you're an amateur like me, 
It'd yeah. probably take me forever. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good segue, because just as a side note, we have a video where we're going to try to put a kit together. We did find one of these that we, we just couldn't we? resist. Am I actually going to help with that? Oh, yeah, you're in oh, on boy. it. Oh, wait, maybe we'll film the whole thing, and it'll just be a... It'll be horrible. <laughs> maybe it'll be amazing. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Well, that does it for today's video. Of course, if you've seen anything that you like, uh, definitely let me know. You can contact me by uh, clicking a link below to get onto my contact form on my website. And also, I want to thank Victoria for jumping in today and helping out. It was a real blast. I mean, there is some really awesome stuff here. I mean, I'm surprised I'm not taking it all. <laughs> yeah, no, she likes containers and stuff. Mm. She's going to be an intermodal. Trailers and containers are my jam. <laughs> yeah, but... All right. Well, we're going to keep these videos coming because we always got new stuff coming in. So as you can see right now, it's a little preview of what's to come. We got some freight cars coming up soon and uh, lots of goodies. So we're going to leave it at that. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. We definitely appreciate it. Bye.